Hello everyone. In this presentation, I will be covering the requirements of writing a film review. A film review is a great way of expressing your opinion of a film. The purpose of most film reviews is to help the reader in determining whether they want to watch, rent or buy a particular film. The review should give enough detail about the film so that the reader can make an informed decision about whether to watch the film or not. However, the review should not give any essential details away, such as too much of the plot, any surprises or the ending of the film. You will need to choose a film that you would like to review. However, before you even watch the film, you would need to find out some basic facts about the film. Here is what you need to find out. The title of the film and the year it was released. The director's name. The names of the lead actors. And the genre, whether the film you've chosen to review is a romance, a comedy, drama, sci-fi or an action film. These are some of the details that you will need to include when writing your film review. Once you have made a note of the basic details of the film you have chosen to review, it is now time to watch the film. If it was your first time watching the film, watching it a second time will help you to absorb a lot more detail about the film. Most movie reviewers take notes as they watch a film. So when you are watching your chosen film, make a note every time something resonates or stands out for you, whether you consider it something good or bad. This could be about anything such as costuming, makeup, set, design, music, the acting and so on. The more notes you make while watching your chosen film, the easier it will be to compile your film review. These notes can be used and submitted as you're planning, which remember is the first part of the writing process. Essentially, the bulk of the information included in your film review will be based on your opinion. This is important as you, the reviewer, can state which parts of the film you enjoyed or disliked. However, as in all good journalism, you should also give objective or unbiased details. This allows the audience, in other words, the readers of your film review, to make up their own mind about whether or not they would agree with your opinion. Remember to justify any statements that you make. In other words, if you present a particular opinion about a film or certain aspects of that film, you need to state why you hold that opinion. In your film review, you will need to provide your opinion on the actors and actresses in your chosen film. Comment on how well the actors in the film acted and how well they were suited to their roles. However, it is not necessary to comment on every actor in the film. Rather focus your opinion on the main cast only. You can provide some detail about the structure of the film in your film review. The structure refers to the storyline. Did the film follow a regular, predictable storyline? In other words, was the film storyline easy to follow? Did it progress in a straightforward, linear pattern? Or were there uses of flashbacks or flash forwards? Were these effective? And if so, why? Did the film get you thinking and questioning issues and ideas? Perhaps the film you chose to review touched on particular social issues like poverty or gender relations. If the film did this for you, how or why did it get you thinking or questioning issues and ideas? In your review, you can also include some detail about cinematography and lighting. In other words, you can give details about how well you think the film was shot and directed. This includes commentary on special effects 
or computer-generated images. If your chosen film included these aspects, how effective and believable would you say they were? Films generally include a soundtrack or music paired with what we see on screen. Your answers to the following questions can be included in your film review. Did the film have its own original music? In other words, was the film or the soundtrack composed specifically for your film? Or did it feature songs from popular artists, so songs that already exist and now have been included in the film? Whether your chosen film included pre-existing songs from popular artists or songs specifically composed for the film, ask yourself if the music was well suited to the scenes in the movie. Don't forget to state why or why not you think so. The last aspect of a film review that you would need to include is a rating. Generally, film ratings are on a scale of 1 to 5 stars. This is a rating of the film as a whole, with all the aspects mentioned above considered. Five stars are awarded to a film that a reviewer considered phenomenal. One star would be given to a film a reviewer considered terrible. Here is a rating scale you can use to rate your chosen film. Award your chosen film 5 stars if you thought it was excellent, 4 stars if you thought your chosen film was very good, 3 stars if you thought it was good, 2 stars if you thought it was fair, or 1 star if you thought your chosen film was poor. Lastly, let us have a look at a film review example so that you can see the layout requirements and the type of language used in a film review. As you can see, this is a review of the film Fast and Furious 8. Notice at the top of the page is the film's title in single inverted commas. Alongside the title of the film is the title of the film review. You will need to come up with your own title for your film review. Underneath this is the name of the reviewer. This is where you will write your name. Notice that the film review is written in paragraphs and at the very end a star rating is included. Let us read through this review. Fast and Furious 8 A Great Watch by Tabiso Molloy only a few movie franchises manage to get it right with one concept that goes on for many years without fail. A perfect example of this is the much-anticipated blockbuster, Fast and Furious 8. Familiar with most, it's unbelievable to think that the Fast and Furious franchise started in 2001 and is still going strong with an equally blockbuster cast as well as exciting plots and stunts to boot. Now that Dom, Vin Diesel, and Letty, Michelle Rodriguez, are on their honeymoon, Brian and Mia have retired from the game, and the rest of the crew has been pardoned, the globetrotting team has found a semblance of a normal life. But when a mysterious woman seduces Dom back into a world of crime that he can't seem to escape, the crew will face trials that will test them as never before. Does Fast and Furious 8 live up to the hype? Simple answer is an outstanding yes. The movie truly is a blockbuster worth checking out and lives up to the bill. The whole franchise has been taken to another level and has continued to evolve with each movie released in the series. Fast and Furious 8 is a well put together movie complete with non-stop action, crazy but impressive stunts and a bit of comedy here and there. Sure, the plot and how it's set up might not be mind-blowing or original, but its simplistic nature makes the whole offering easy to follow. The movie flows from one end to the other seamlessly and offers a bit of everything. Fast 8 might be the best in the whole franchise. There probably wasn't a need to do another movie in the series. However, it's still a winning formula. 
In addition to other regulars, our very own Charlize Theron joins the perfectly assembled cast in a slightly surprising role as the villain. When it was initially announced that she was set to become the villain, a part of me wasn't too sure, but surprisingly, she pulls it off without any hiccups and is in fact one of the reasons why the whole offering is a fantastic watch. Fast 8 includes a great choice in character selection and is very well executed. Fast and Furious 8 is a great film. I truly enjoyed it and no doubt just about everyone else will. Regardless of whether or not you've been a fanboy or girl from the onset or not. It's got almost everything you would want in a good action thriller and is guaranteed to have your attention throughout. Lastly for Fast and Furious 8, the reviewer awarded a rating of 4 stars, suggesting that he felt the film as a whole was very good. Thank you for watching this video presentation. If you have any questions, please contact your relevant English teacher. Also be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more English content.